Good morning everybody. Today's outfit is not my favorite. I was actually gonna change, but I have some things to unbox and try on with you today. So I thought I'd just leave it on. Just got this kind of neutral, seamless ribbed body on. A little Balenciaga belt from Farfetch. Side note, this video contains a paid for integrated partnership with Farfetch. So excited, so excited for this, you guys. I have my fail safe blue straight leg jeans. And then these Converse, I don't know if I like these. Can you let me know if you like them? I bought them ages ago, so I can't send them back. But yeah, I've been umming and ahhing over them for so long. They're literally camouflaged on my floor. And then I've just got these little Monica Vinita hoops, Monica Vinita necklace, and then yesterday's curls left in my hair. My hair is behaving today. Like I literally woke up and just brushed my hair. Like you can see probably in the footage where I'm doing my skincare. So I know I forgot to film the full skincare routine. I like got to like the last step and I was like, I was meant to film this half awake this morning. But yeah, my hair is behaving today. It's almost like it knows that I'm having my hair done tomorrow and it's like, don't do anything to me, please. I feel like this is a sign to not do anything to my hair because I was actually gonna go like full wispy fringe tomorrow. I've had a change of heart in the past like 24 hours and now I'm thinking I want my longer bangs. I saw a photo of me when my bangs were longer. I think I preferred it or maybe somewhere in between, like maybe just keep them as they are now. But yeah, they're behaving today. Woke up, brushed them. They're sitting like this. Also went to do minimal makeup and ended up with like a half face of glam, as you do. This would normally be a waste. However, I think I am actually socializing this evening. So not such a waste. I also just fully went for it because I'm feeling a little bit blah at the moment. Just really bloaty, super puffy and just not fantastic. So the fact that my hair behaved, I am like, super grateful for because it's like one thing that's going right but also just went for it with the makeup because it's making me feel a little bit better so i've got a fair few bits to unbox with you today from farfetch we're gonna do that in a minute but before we do that i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and maybe have a biscuit because i just quite fancy it to be honest we didn't get a coffee montage today so you're having a tea montage instead and yes i do keep my cats with a drawer let me live Got a lot to answer for. We had a cute little breakfast club like moment. She came over for breakfast. Who brings biscuits to breakfast? Honestly, she's done me in. So she brought me, she's very kindly, obviously, bought me over some snacks at breakfast. There are a few bits, but vegan Marylands. It's very nice of her. However, I now have like this mild obsession with them where I'm on my third pack and basically normally every night, every evening, I probably won't get to do it this evening because I think we're going out, but every evening I sit and I make myself a cup of tea and I have one or two Marylands, sometimes three, four if it's a weekend. I know, wild. I just love them. I used to annihilate packets of these as a child and to be able to like have them as one of my things that I actually can eat junk food wise now, so good. Perfect. Keep her occupied for 0 0.25 seconds. I have a lot of Farfetch boxes to unbox today. I'm really excited about this. They asked me if I would like to pick up some pieces and share them with you, and which of course I said yes, because I am literally the biggest Farfetch fan ever. I spend a ridiculous amount of money on Farfetch to the point where they have this rewards program and I'm pretty high up in the rewards scheme because I just think they have the best selection of everything. The majority of my luxury purchases I buy from there. Also, it does help that they have the reward scheme. So I get like a birthday discount every year, which is great. You can also get like a welcome code as well, which is really good. Like there's just so many like offers and codes and like the private sale that just happened recently, or is that still ongoing? I can't remember. It might've stopped by the time this video goes live, but it was really, really good. Like so many amazing brands on sale. Loved it so much. They do bigger brands, more niche brands. I love them for like trainers. The majority of my trainers now are bought from there, especially like Nike's New Balance and stuff like that because they have such a good selection lots of the time i can find pieces that are sold out everywhere else and i love that and they also have like other brands like anine bing and stuff like that which i love so yeah they just got like a really good selection of everything you could get is it marge i always feel like i say it wrong sandro like those kinds of price points anine bing is like in there along with that too reformation so i have a code this feels really all over the place but this is what it's like being in my brain you guys so i have a code and it's actually for new and existing customers 
I will put it on the screen now and it will get you 10% off. And there are some brand exclusions. I will pop everything in the info box for you guys just for ease. And the reason why I said this off the back of mentioning Reformation is that the dresses that were, there were a couple of dresses that were in my wedding guest dress edit, those brands are included. So you can get either of those dresses if they are still in stock. I'm not sure if the blue one still is, but I know the Zimmerman nude one still is you can get those with 10% off which is fab any of the self-portrait dresses that you've seen me wear and that you love they're probably on there as well and included so yeah go nuts with it enjoy it i'm pretty sure my night dunks are also back in stock you can use it on that as well basically anything on farfetch within the brand 10% off go nuts and obviously everything i'm about to show you as well the 10% will apply to and if you're not already familiar with farfetch they basically utilize boutiques all over the world that sell luxury items nala is creeping increasingly close to my cup of tea. You keep your schnoz out, thank you. They utilize boutiques all over the world, so that's why you can get things on Farfetch that aren't available elsewhere. It's such a good system, I love it. But yeah, if you're wondering why some things come in different boxes, that's why, but they will try and group things together where possible. But yeah, you just get the best selection. Like I remember when I first saw someone talk about Farfetch and they were saying they just have the best stock of like luxury items. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna need to check this out. And I was like, wow, Wow, everything is so fun. Like their buying team, they just, they're good. I really, really enjoy the stuff that they get. Okay, speaking of, I mentioned an evening earlier. I've got this hoodie, perfect for all the airporting that I'm gonna be doing, but also you guys know I just live in hoodies. They are never a bad purchase for me. I really like this one. I actually love the way this feels. Like it feels really nice. Like the material is not like stiff at all. It's really slouchy, really comfortable. Sometimes you get hoodies and they're just, they're not it, but this actually feels so great. I really like this tone of gray as well. I love a gray that brings out the tan because some grays really like wash me out. Yeah, I really like this. Sorry if you can hear pizza pattering, but you can't see what's actually happening. It is my dog. She's just ruining my life. But anyway, I got this in a size. I believe I got it in a small. I can't find the label. I think it's small. Yeah, 100% cotton. That's why it feels lovely it's like a slightly brushed cotton so it's not like a raw cotton where it feels a little bit rough still but not so brushed that it feels almost velvety because I'm, I'm very specific about my cottons oh i might save this till last i may save this one till last this is so fun i've been really excited to share this order with you guys because it's just like a really fun order for me there's a little bit of a, like a color theme there's color i thought i'd take advantage of this and get some really fun pieces to take to ibiza with me and just to wear throughout summer in general i get a lot of wear out of everything but it's just gonna be super super fun for basically i've got three ibiza trips if i haven't mentioned it and for those of you that i have mentioned it too you're probably bored already and i'm so sorry but yeah i just think they'll be really fun for that kind of situation but anyway speaking of farfetch now do beauty which i am so happy about because obviously i buy so much from them anyway that actually it's really nice when brands do luxury beauty as well as other luxury goods because you can kind of lump everything in one order it's just really nice and easy i am so excited because they stock sarah chapman and i love sarah chapman i think i talked about it in like my last vlog or the vlog before i can't remember vlogs are disappearing from my brain but i talked about how much i love the 3d moisture masks which are actually really hard to get your hands on at the moment but they are the best and they stock them on farfetch and this is this is ideal because I actually really needed these. My skin looked like a shriveled little raisin after I landed in Greece and I just really wish that I had these. I literally used to use these pre-lockdown, pre-not going anywhere. I've always had like a backlog of these and I've always used them after flying and if I'm doing a long haul flight, I literally will be sleeping on the plane and I'll have one of these masks. They're like clear, so they make you look crazy, just like real shiny, rubbery skin. I just literally put them on my face and go to sleep. And when I get off the plane, my skin is just so juicy and hydrated and it's just so helpful. If I'm not doing a long haul, I will just put these on after, but they are so, so good. I love them. So I picked up a pack. I also am so excited because they stock Vizar or is it Viziar? I'm not sure how you say it. It's an American brand and I've only tried one palette from them before, but the, it was such a good eyeshadow palette, like so amazing. They're always really small, really compact, but the quality of the eyeshadows are insane. So if you're looking for like a nice gift for a makeup lover, these are it. Like they are just so gorgeous. But this one is like super summery. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be needing that. I'm actually really botching opening this. How beautiful is that? That is like me in an eyeshadow palette. Oh, love it. I still have my old video art palette as well, which is like more like these kind of tones, like cool toned neutrals. And it's honestly one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I own, it's beautiful. And then we have 
I love this colour. So this is a dress by Hunza G, which is one of the kind of like one size, like mostly swimwear, I want to say, brands. I really like this stuff. I actually like the fact that their swimsuits are one size. I don't know how one size they really are, you know. For me, I really enjoy buying them because I just, they're just a forever swimsuit for me. Like I know girls who are like pregnant and they're still wearing their Hunza G swimsuits. So they really do like stand the test of time. They really do accommodate a lot of body fluctuations and I love that. So I saw they were doing like these dresses. I'm actually losing the feeling in my foot, oh my God. But yeah, I saw they were doing these dresses and I was like, actually, if I like those, this is gonna be ideal because it will have a lot of stretch and it will just stretch with me. I love that. And I love this color. It is the prettiest color. I think it's gonna really like bring out my tan. Will it be a bit long? Who knows? I'm kind of, that was my only reservation with this dress, but I was like, I'm willing to take the risk on this because it's such a beautiful color. They also do it in, I think they do it in a similar style in black. Not exactly the same, but very, very similar in black and if I get one with that, I will probably pick the black one up as well because it's lush. Oh. I've got a new Reformation dress and I think I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God, I'm already obsessed with you and I haven't even tried you on yet. Oh my God, this is so cute. So cute. So it's got like little strawberries and various different like, there's that a raspberry, cherries, summer fruits kind of dress basically and it's got the most gorgeous colors so as you can see there's a slight color theme in the fact that we've got like some purpley pinky hues going on we've got the orange in there it's just such a gorgeous color and i'm hoping the fit will be really cute on me as well it's like a really lovely like satiny silky dress i'm not sure what the material is let me find out 100 percent silk and I got it in a size, a size four. So that's a U, I believe it's a US four. I hope it's not a UK four because it would be very large for a UK four. But yeah, I generally go off my blue silk reformation dress, which I also got on Farfetch and that is a size four. So hoping that the sizing is gonna be okay. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. It's gonna be such a nice one for like dinners. When I'm on holiday, then have a little bikini, which is also by Hunza G has these cute little tortoiseshell rings on the side, nice and stretchy. So we've got little black bottoms and the black bandeau top as well. I thought this would be really handy for tanning in because I came back, I don't know if you can still see, I've got my tan lines from my triangle bikini. So I thought this would be a good one to alternate with it. And, and this is so stretchy and I think it's gonna be a really nice fit. So really excited about that. So this is to go with my lovely pinky purple color palette but to not like match exactly and i also have just so many items in my wardrobe that this is going to be so beautiful with it's so cute this color i'm obsessed with you it's so cute i might actually shed tears i'm not to be dramatic but this might be the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life it's so cute i'm gonna die i went for the larger size they actually do this in a few sizes i went for the larger size because the handle seemed to be a little bit shorter it's also got this loop effect but it also just had a little bit more room in terms of the depth so i was like i think i can get a little bit more in this one got the little strap Oh my god, it is so cute. Yeah, they do these in blue as well, and kind of really obsessed with them. I know I'm kind of late to the party, but I don't really mind because sometimes I'd rather know that I like something than buy it because everyone else is just wearing it. So I generally am always late to the party with bags. It's actually a running thing. But I'm so glad I finally have because this is literally the best i think this might be one of my favorite bags that i own i think i need to buy bags in more colors and i said that i that was something i was going to stop doing but they just make me so happy so yeah so this dress with this bag this dress with this bag you can just uh, okay the strap needs some uh, decreasing but oh my god it's so cute so that's what i picked up from farfetch we're gonna cut to the future I'll do a little try on with you now and then I'll be back with you once I finish my tea. Oh my god you guys this is so cute. I'm obsessed with the colour. The length it's absolutely fine. You can actually if you want it longer it really stretches. You can stretch it down longer. You can have it a little bit shorter which is what I was kind of banking on. Excuse me I'm really really bloated at the moment. It is just that point in the month for me. 
super super bloaty but yeah i love the fact that it will just stretch over my blow i don't have to worry about that i actually think that this is the best point for me to try on items for my holiday because when you're on holiday you kind of like sometimes you drink things that have a little bit of fizz in it or you just eat like a lot of like carby foods i know i do the saltiness and the carbiness and they're just like eating so many pringles and fanta lemons it really does get to me so actually trying on things when i'm bloated is kind of a truer reflection of what it's going to be like on holiday so yeah, it's probably the best point to try something on because if i don't feel comfortable in it at home when i am bloaty then there's a good chance that when i'm on holiday i'm just not going to feel great in it either i think this is a winner and this this like combo this combo is everything i <laughs> I love it so much it just makes me want to cry and that's I know that's really ridiculous but this is who I am people yeah this is this is perfect I I am obsessed do you like this what do you think I don't think I've ever put together a look like this before but I absolutely adore it and I think this is a really nice dress you can dress it up or you can wear it more casually I think I'll wear it so much throughout the summer in the UK as well it'd be really nice it's just with a white shirt over the top as well and a pair of trainers I just really like this pop of colour. I have realised just in the past couple of weeks, I was like, I have no colour in my wardrobe actually. This is a little bit, a little bit sad. So yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, so this needs a little steam just around the waist because we've got a big crease here. But this is so, so sweet. It's a little bit big on the chest, literally just by a fraction. But to be honest, I always find that. But I have tried size twos on before and they're just like a little bit too snug for me. I just prefer the four because I feel like it's a bit more comfortable and I can wear a bra underneath if I want to as well. And then it fits perfect. But yeah, I've literally just thrown it on. I haven't adjusted the straps or anything yet, but it's so lovely. I really like how it fits kind of over my hips and it's really like thigh skimming, which is lovely. It's got the little thigh split as well which i am obsessed with it works so beautifully with the bag which i love i had this all together in my basket on farfetch and it was kind of like all grouped and i could just really see the colors all working together and i'm so glad that it's actually all worked out in real life let me know your thoughts on this one i think it's so lovely just a really nice easy summer dress okay so this is possibly the worst day for me to be showing you a swim costume but this is real life i'm also real tan not fake tan so it's different in different places <laughs> you can see the tan line going on here and then my stomach is just like a lot lighter and the upper half of my legs is a lot lighter as well but this is what we're working with with the Hunza G bikini I love it I think it's so cute you do have to like stretch it a little bit to mold it to like your shape but it's worked out okay for my size I'm about a 30 either a 32d or a 34c I honestly don't even know anymore 32d seems to fit like but yeah it stretches fine is my point and then the bottom stretch really really well i've stretched them up so that they sit over the tops of my thighs because that is just how i like to wear my bikini bottoms it gives me a lot of extra like leg length or like the illusion of leg length if that makes sense so it just works out a lot better for me but yeah very cute i think this will work really nicely as like a almost like a top to go with kind of like trousers and things like that i actually picked out a pair of trousers just like a black floaty pair to show you just before i do i thought some of you would want to know what the cut on the bum is like so there you go that is that is the kind of vibe so yeah just to give you an idea i think it also works really nicely with like a floaty pair of trousers you could then throw a white shirt over the top and just have it kind of open and i think that would be really nice as well and then finally we have the hoodie which will probably be my go-to hoodie for all chill days from here on out this is so nice i love this i'm gonna keep this as like a nice hoodie that i don't like get all like worn and gross <laughs> like some of my hoodies this one is this is gonna be a nice hoodie it's like a i'm socializing but i'm doing something really really casual kind of hoodie i love this the fit is so nice i've actually bought some sweatshirts from anine bing before and they run quite small and they're a bit more of like a regular to like run quite small kind of fit whereas this is a small and this is like way more oversized than the small sweatshirts which i've tried on so yeah i really like the fit of the hoodie but if you want to pick up a sweatshirt then i would say to size up but yeah i really like it really really like it it's such a nice like oversized but not too much material fit like they've, they've got this just right and it sits really nicely you can kind of like bring it up and sit it a bit higher but the waistband's not super elasticated so it doesn't feel restrictive or too tight i don't like it when hoodies kind of have a really tight waistband even if they are oversized but yeah this is just really nice and really slouchy and i love that so definitely 
cutting the tag out of this because this is just the bag that makes me cry it's so pretty that is everything that i got from farfetch i hope you guys enjoyed seeing it definitely take advantage of my code if there's anything that you want to pick up it's you 10 percent off all of the items that i showed and then everything else that you've ever seen me buy from farfetch ever i also just wanted to say a big thank you for all of your lovely messages on my last video i think it will be my last video by the time you see this i really appreciate it all of that chat was almost like basically cut from the vlog because I had the last minute moment where I was like, I just shouldn't say this. And then I was asked why I felt like I shouldn't say it. And it came back to the fact that obviously people make me feel like my feelings aren't valid, like I can't share my feelings. And yeah, so for that purpose, I decided to leave it in <laughs> as a way of sharing with you guys, but also as an exercise to myself to share things that I would not normally share because people make me feel like I'm not allowed to say these things. And of course, I had the messages that I talked about where people were like, don't let this affect you. You should take it as a compliment. You should be happy about this. Just ignore these people. Why are you even talking about it? It always happens. I always get them. And then I realized last night that those people, those are the people that when you're growing up, you are taught that your feelings aren't valid. So you then put that way of like behaving and that way of processing with negativity with trauma you put that on other people so you tell them that their feelings aren't valid and I, I just had that moment where I was like even that is not a reflection of how I should actually be behaving that is a reflection of how this poor person has been brought up to feel like they should just deal with the things that are coming at them and they shouldn't share or feel like they can feel emotional over it that person has literally been brought up to be like chin up on carry on as you were like that is so sad to me so yeah if you ever feel that way i want to send you a big hug basically but it's kind of a good thing i guess because it now means that i won't take it as personally because i've realized why it's not actually that i should be not feeling things it's actually just other people's stuff that they're putting on me but yeah i just wanted to say a big thank you because all of your comments have been so lovely i need to get some bits done this afternoon have this real situation which i will talk about soon because it's actually not that big a deal but it's just been like i mentioned in the last vlog it's been ongoing and it's just stressing me like it's keeping me up at night so i'll talk about that soon once it's all sorted i need to kind of like just get on my admin i've got lots of things to do people need paying you know all that kind of vibe so i need to get on with that i also need to try and go outside at some point today because i need to be out in nature and i need my exercise and i also need to go and get toilet roll because i've run out but it's like peeing it down today which is not ideal either pray that it stops raining or i'm gonna have to go out and get drenched so if i look like a drowned rat later that's why unfortunately i'm having my hair done tomorrow and i've basically done i've, I've looked cute for some of this vlog so i'll take that just in case anyone is wondering yes i did get rained on fortunately because i got my new hoodie my hair was pretty much dry apart from my Cringy bits. Talking about my new hoodie like it's a revolutionary thing and I've never owned a hoodie before. And also, yes, I am eating yogurt out of the tub again. Let me live. A lot. 
I am preferring this over the face mist at the moment. I just find it gives a slightly deeper tan, but it also sits a lot better on my forehead. My forehead generally goes quite patchy, but it doesn't with these drops. So I'm really enjoying it. Okay, tan is on. And then I'm just gonna leave it to sit on my face for a bit before I put my SPF on, just so it's doing the most. Got some very glowy skin going on this morning which is very much needed because i didn't go to bed until midnight last night we went to our friends to book our third and final installment of ibiza so i'm a little bit tired this morning i tried to use the sarah chapman eye patches i went for the all over face one in the end but i tried to use these eye patches they're better if your eyes are closed which is annoying because i obviously can't just be standing here with my eyes closed for like 10 minutes so i'll try those again later that's a good excuse for a nap you know mm -hmm. This cat is so weird, but so cute. Okay, so today I am going to the hairdressers and then I'm having my nails done after. So, full day of pampering. It's about time because honestly, I need some TLC. My hair really needs like a, just a little dusting off the end after that holiday. I find it always gets so dry after I've been in the sun. So, really looking forward to both nails and hair. I'm wearing my Anine Bing hoodie again. Let me live. Let me wear the same thing two days in a row. I was going to wear jeans today, but... I had second thoughts because I was like, do you know what? You're just going to sit being like mildly uncomfortable all day. So I popped on my cycle shorts, got my Converse on, got my Anine Bing hoodie. I've got a t-shirt on. It's like big and oversized and slouchy underneath. I've got my Balenciaga tote so I can carry a few bits with me. And if I get anything in town, I'm hopefully going to pick up some dinner. I can like carry it home really easily. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. Oh, and I've got my Monica Vinader hoops in and then that's pretty much it. What are you wearing? Um, my collar is from Etsy. It says Shrimpy, because we're not allowed to use my full name on collars. Love you. See you in a bit. High five. <laughs> this is a look, is it not? So I have my hair done, but I have been fully rained on, so it's not it's not looking fantastic. The weather is really weathering right now. But I'm excited to get these sorted because have you seen them? Have you seen what I've done to them? They are they're not good. That is not good. And I brought the bag, of course, to match with a polish. And Ella has the perfect one. I'm so excited to get these sorted because they're actually hurting me. Good evening, I am back. I forgot to show you my nails before. I left the nail place. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so these are my finished nails. I think they look so cute. So we've got a new The Gel Bottle by our colour all over the base, which is called Dolly. And then the pink colour over the top is called Carrie's Cosmo. I think it's a Sex and the City reference. Some of you will probably be like, uh, duh. But I'm feeling nice and pampered. It's nice to have shorter nails. Again, my nails have been growing so quickly, so has my hair. I actually had a trim earlier, not that you could tell. But yeah, everything's growing so quickly. My hair, my nails, so we took so much off and they still look so long. But yeah, I'm very happy with them. I think they're really cute. They match my new bag perfectly, which I'm so happy about. I've just been eating some sushi because my nails weren't finished until like six o'clock. So I decided to get sushi on the way home and I've just been sat on the sofa binging Vampire Diaries and eating sushi. It was great. And now I'm waiting for Ryan to get home so that we can watch Stranger Things in bed with a cup of tea. I'm so tired. I feel like my eyes are just like, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed. I need to have like a real sort my life out day tomorrow because it's just my bedroom is honestly i can't vlog in there at the moment it's such a mess there's just stuff everywhere like i mean everywhere floor bed sides like it's just been my place i'm throwing things and then like getting on with my day so i need to have a real good sort out day of that tomorrow and i've got therapy in the morning so it's just going to be one of those like real like doing things i don't really want to do but that are good for me kind of days i've just been reading through my comments again on my last video and there was one comment today that really made me laugh which was I might see if I can screenshot it maybe, I can't remember, but it was basically the general consensus was I love seeing you mad about things, <laughs> not like happy, like fake happy all the time. And it really made me laugh because I was like, if that is something you guys enjoy seeing and you enjoy actually seeing me be pissed off about things, I've got so much to talk about that I would never normally share because I just don't feel like people want to hear me say things. I don't know. I'm like, oh, no one needs to hear this completely unsolicited opinion of mine. But yeah, if you want some completely unsolicited opinions on things that make me mad, 
let me know because I, I'm a real ranter. I just keep it off the internet because obviously we went through that phase a few years ago where everyone was just ranting about stuff online and I was like, oh, give it a break. No one needs to hear this. So that's not really me. That's not really who I am online, but in real life, I'm low key always pissed about something. Anyway, I need to wash my face. It's looking nice and bronze today after I used the Lux Tan Tonic drops as you can see i am obsessed with this product i use it literally every day so much of it yeah it makes me feel so like bronzy like this isn't even good light this is the light that normally washes me out and i still look quite tan so yeah obsessed with it it's really helping me to like ditch foundation at the moment because i just just feel like my skin looks really good with that and a bit of spf and it's just fine but yeah i'm gonna wash my face do a little bit of like skin tlc i've got some spots that popped up here so i'm gonna use some of the allies of skin promise keeper nightly blemish treatment i never get the name for this right it's too long it's too long mm -hmm. Also, I thought I would take a moment just to show you really quickly my hair. I had it done today, obviously, but I had highlights put in and I'm so happy with them. I feel like my fringe is really complicating matters. You can't see the colour coming through as much at the top, but we've gone really kind of high up. And that lovely colour is just coming through all the way through the length of the hair. It's really lovely. It's like super ashy at the moment, which I love. It never fully stays that way, but we have to like go overly ashy in the beginning because... We have to compensate for the fact that my hair just wants to be orange basically and then we've gone for like quite a dark route I'm trying to show you but it's not behaving because i got rained on today but yeah that is kind of the overall color that we're working with it's really nice it's really really pretty and really soft i am going to go and brush my hair now because it's being a morning i need to end this vlog because i think it's got a little bit long and i've already started another one so you know the drill I love you all lots. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments. And I will see you again, hopefully, on Thursday for a new vlog. Love you, bye.